So if I look asleep, it's because I just woke up. And we're gonna film some Halloween videos. <laughs> I'm still drinking my coffee. Go Vikings. And yeah, so today we are going to do a kind of she-devil, blue devil situation. Um, I did a she-devil video like a long time ago. Uh, it was like a she-devil vampire, but it was really just like regular ass makeup with some fangs. Also, I'm a little sick too. I feel like I get sick every time I travel and when I was in Jersey, it was like 40 degrees and it's like 90 degrees here. So I feel like the weather got me a little bit. So I wanna talk about first the inspiration on where I got this look from. Um, I follow, I wanna say her name right, so let me pull up her IG page real quick. Also, if you hear like any background noise, we are having a little bit of work done on the house. We're getting new floors installed. So if you hear banging and clanging, it's the floor guy. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> there it is. What were we talking about? Oh, we're talking about inspiration for this look. Okay, so here's the girl that I got the inspiration from. If there she is. Okay, so her name is, I think it's Jessica Pitten. Pitten? My favorite thing about this look was her um, like heart that she had here. And I thought it would be cool if she was blue, not red. Just like do a little bit of a spin on a she-devil because I feel like most people do make them red, of course. Um, but I thought I would make ours blue. So this is the artist that she was inspired by. And what do I see right here? I see a little blue devil. So I scroll the page. Here is the picture that she was inspired by. And then there's a little blue devil right underneath it. So I was like, this is perfect. And I also know Crispy put up a like pinup devil the other day, which hers was red as well. And I clicked on um, Crispy's page and it was actually inspired by Amber Car Art as well. So shout out to Amber Car Art, Crispy, Jessica Pitten. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not, um, for kind of giving me a little more inspiration for this look. But like I said, we are going to make ours blue today. And usually whenever I kind of have an idea for, I'm feeling chatty because the coffee's kicking in. Okay, um, anytime I have like an idea of what I wanna do, I kind of Google it to see if anybody else has done it so that the looks kind of don't look the same as each other, you know? So I didn't find any like blue devils or anything like that, just kind of that artist one. Um, but I did find one girl and I wanna show you her she devil cause she kind of did like a blue vibe. Um, and I just want to show you guys hers as well. So this is Makeup Mars. Hers is really cool too, so I like her like detailing on the chest and I really like the contrast between the blue and the red, which I pulled blue and red to film this look for. So I just kind of wanted to give her, oh, no, no. So I just wanted to shout out Makeup Mars as well because I thought her She Devil was dope. This is actually from last year, this picture, um, but still really cool. It's not 8.38 p.m. <laughs> it is. 10.57 a.m. I just wanted to let you guys know where the inspiration for this look came from. If you wanna follow any of them, I will have their links in the bottom bar. All of them have really cool looks on their pages, so if you're looking for more Halloween inspiration, check them out. Maybe you'll get a little bit inspired to create something because Halloween is right around the corner. But I've always wanted to kinda of do this like demony look because I feel like it's scary, but I wanna make mine blue so it's not like super scary, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do a blue she-devil. We should probably get started. I've been chatting here forever. So I'm thinking that I'm going to glue just the ends of my eyebrows down so that I can give my she-devil kind of this look happening here. I feel like we've been gluing down our brows a lot. Again, it's totally optional. You do not have to glue down your brows if you do not want to. I just think it adds to the look because it kind of changes up your natural like eye situation that you've got going on here. Look at us. When I paint myself, I use these like water activated paints. So if you don't have the water activated paints, but you still kind of want to paint yourself like a whole color, you can take like an eyeshadow that you don't really use um, and kind of just scrape it off until it's like powder and then just mix it into any kind of foundation, like a lighter color foundation. And then boom, you have like instant face paint. Plus I feel like it'll go on smoother because it is foundation. Um, so that's just an option if you guys don't have the water activated paints because these are fun and easy to use for Halloween and it's great for removal. Like it comes off super duper easy. Uh, as soon as you jump into the shower, it just kind of melts away. Um, but they are kind of pricey, especially if you're only gonna use them once a year. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys that option as well. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to drink that coffee. Voiceover activated. Okay, the spatula showed up for this tutorial, so I'm just gonna glue these things down. You know the deal already. We're just trying to get our brows to lay as flat as they possibly can, so when we draw on our new brow, you can't really tell. Next, I'm gonna cover 
all of my skin that you can see. Well, not everything at first, but eventually I will. I'm just using this Graf Tobin Pro Paint. This is in the shade Baby Blue, and we're just going to work this in. I find that this paint lays a little bit better if I don't put on any primer or moisturizer, so keep that in mind. Next, using my Makeup Forever Pro Palette, mine is Loved. I'm going to create a little concoction that's like a baby blue shade because the cream really helps to conceal the brows even more. So I just mixed white, dark blue, and turquoise and covered the ends of my brows and then just ran that cream color over my lids and underneath my eyes because I just feel like the eyeshadow sticks better to this. Oh, I'm showing you my horns. So they're brown. Clearly not, brown's not gonna work for us, and we are going to adhere them with spirit gum. That's why I have no paint on my forehead yet. So I'm just going to take my uh, like red paint, pro paint as well, this is water activated, and just paint my horns red, get a little spirit gum, and apply that around the outer edge. Spirit gum is like lash glue, you wanna give it a second to get a little bit tacky. Then I'm going to pop on my horn, and you're gonna to wanna to hold it there for a good minute or so, and after that you are good to go. These things are not coming off. You need spirit gum remover to get them off. Well, to get all the excess glue off. You can just pull them off. It, it might hurt a little bit. And then I'm gonna paint everything else. Next, we're gonna get our evil brows going. So to kind of just use it as my outline, I'm just gonna use some pomade that's not super black, but we are gonna go over these guys in black. So I'm just mapping out how I want my brows. I just kind of want them to be super straight. I actually used to do my brows like this. Like that's why I used to shave off the, oh no, yellow man. That's why I used to shave off the ends of my brows. So here I'm just going in with some black paint to darken those bad boys up. To start on the eyes, I'm gonna take this red from Sugar Pill Cosmetics and just start working this in my upper crease. You guys know that I like to work a little bit of color in at a time, so this is going to be a process. I never stop working on the eyes, so I'm just going back and forth, back and forth between a small detailing brush, detailing brush, and a fluffy brush. Just kind of <laughs> just kind of building that intensity as I go now originally I was going to do blue on my lid which you guys will see in a second but I thought that I was just looking a little bit too patriotic for a she devil so I will eventually go in and cover that blue with black so we're gonna do black and red eyes no blue mm -mm, not today America <laughs> I'm gonna take that baby blue shade from the same palette and just use this to kind of even out any unevenness I see on my skin because sometimes the uh, pro paint can be unforgiving so if you go over it with like an eyeshadow you'll help yourself out. To cut these cheekbones I'm just gonna start with a dark blue shade and then eventually go into the black shade and just build these up to my intensity liking. Did that make sense? I'm gonna build these up until I like them, basically, is what I was going with. So just do what you want here. You can follow along. But I'm basically just contouring these cheeks heavily. Do you guys know what you're gonna be for Halloween yet? I am torn between two. I either wanna be Morticia Adams or Jon Snow. What do you think? <laughs> To uh, brighten me up, I'm going to use this Super White from Ben Nye, and this helps to kind of brighten that under eye area, like I said, plus soften the edges of the contour. I'm also going to go in with some red and black shadow right around the horns, just to make it look like they're actually coming out of my skin and just not sitting on top of my skin. I'm sorry that it's focusing on my hand. <gasps> And like I said, I'm just always working on the eyes. So here I'm just intensifying everything, the red and the black as well.
Next, we're going to take a pencil eyeliner and we're going to run this in our waterline and our top wider line as well. I'm not going to go all the way over though. I'm going to leave some space in my inner corner. And then taking a felt tip liner, I'm going to use this to kind of extend my lower lash line down a little bit and then an angled brush to really just kind of intensify and give it like a nice sharp edge and then I'm gonna buff all that out with like a red shadow not with like a red shadow but with a red shadow okay like stop saying like <laughs> Going back into our little custom colored baby blue, I'm going to use this in my waterline right up to the black, and then I'm going to use that in between the negative space between our new lower lash line and the corner of our eye. Next, I'm going to just finish painting the rest of my body except my right hand because I still need it. We are going to pop on some lashes, and then I'm going to do a little bit of shading around my neck area. draw basically my bleeding heart um, from the amber car heart no amber car art work um, so if you do want to do this heart I would definitely recommend referencing her photo because I'm halfway cut off per usual so um, yeah I'm just gonna draw a heart and basically try to replicate what she had in the painting She had some white specks in her heart, so I'm just taking some water activated paint and a paintbrush, not a paintbrush, a toothbrush, and just flicking little white dots onto the heart. And then I'm just going to line my lips. I think I'm using cherry lip liner, but I'm not sure, honestly, any red lip liner and lipstick will work for this. I'm gonna fill them in with a liquid lip just because you want this to last forever, especially if you're gonna wear this out for Halloween. And I'm going to extend, I'm basically winging out my top lip liner. I really like doing this. I feel like it only works on me for like Halloween looks though, so I feel like I do it a lot, but I lax it. Um, clearly I'm starting to feel myself here. I'm gonna pop in some red contacts and a wig, but other than that, this She Devil look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next Halloween look. <laughs>